tired. Vlogmas is hard. Well, you have a good rest. Cream on, can you tell? Why you got this in my face? I'm exposing you. Why? What are you exposing me of what? Aren't you gonna start with your bloody countdown that you wanted to do? Oh yeah! There's 24 days until Christmas! I'm not that excited. You guys wanna see something cool? Okay. This is from um, when me and Nikita went to Korea and we got our caricatures done. What do you guys reckon? You guys reckon it looks like us? <laughs> That's me. That's Nikita. I used to have blonde hair. We should dye it again. <laughs> we should dye it again. I really want to. It's so much fun. I suppose I could dye my hair because I want to cut it short soon anyway. So like, you know, as a last hurrah, we can dye it and then just cut it off or something. We're thinking one side green and one <laughs> side red. <laughs> Would I actually do that? Nah, it's too much. Breakfast today is some um, jiggly jiggly eggs. Can you guys see the jiggle jiggle jiggle? And then I toasted this bread roll, a Vietnamese bread roll, over the fire. And then I'll show you guys how I like to eat my eggs because I'm Asian. I like to get a little bit of soy sauce, pour it all over. I like soy sauce because because I'm Asian. <laughs> so I know people usually do salt and pepper. I've always, since I was little, I've always done pepper and soy sauce. If you've never tried it, try it. So I pour the soy sauce over the eggs and then it, it mixes with the egg yolks and becomes like this delicious, delicious sauce. And then you dip your bread in it and it's the best. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta try it if you've never tried it before. You can try some? You try some. Thank you. We need to get out of bed one of these days. Yeah, we just went straight back to bed after breakfast. <laughs> Let's go get my hair cut. over my shoulder there's a freaking camera in my face get used to vlogmas is that what it's like yeah i'm gonna be everywhere wow Why when you're I... on the toilet when you're in the shower i'll be there why don't you keep dancing i wasn't dancing you were dancing i wasn't dancing keep dancing i wasn't dancing all right so I don't know if you guys remember from two seconds ago we're going to get a haircut <laughs> am i funny that was a joke? Yeah! Oh, yes. Yes, but, dear. You're very funny. Uh, I suppose we didn't tell you guys that, like, right this second, I'm going to get a haircut. We're in the car going to get a haircut. Is that a joke? I don't, yeah. know. I don't know what your jokes are <laughs> yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just being silly. So it was a joke? Well, yeah, I was being silly. <laughs> anyway, we're in the car going to get my haircut. Can't wait for you guys to see where I get it done. Hope you love my salon that I go to. And are you gonna get yours cut? I don't think I'll get my hair cut today, but I will get a haircut sometime soon. Yeah, okay. You just got a haircut about a week ago. How come you're getting a haircut again? Um, all okay. right, it was more than a week ago. I went somewhere different and I don't really love what he's done with it. I just need it. I need more little... <laughs> Um, all right, we'll see you guys there. What's up, everybody? We've made it to a place called Footscray. This neighborhood is where I actually grew up. Back when I was growing up here, it was pretty much just all Vietnamese people. Like, this was basically a second Vietnam. <laughs> but now, like 10 years, 15 years later, it's become like a very... It's still a lot of Vietnamese people, but it's very hipstery now as well. Like, so there's been... 
a bunch of like hipsters that have invaded Footscray. And then there's also a lot of Indian people here now, a lot of African people here. So you can get a lot of good Vietnamese food, good Indian food, good, good African food, but mainly Ethiopian. There's heaps and heaps of good Ethiopian restaurants in Footscray now. So it's pretty cool. It's like, it's evolved a lot. And I actually wanted to make like a whole entire video just on this neighborhood. And like, I could show Nikita around and all the places I grew up in. Over here actually, behind me, that used to be like one of my parents' restaurants when I was growing up. They had a restaurant right there. And then, and then over there, they had a restaurant there too. So, you've got your hair cut. I know it looks exactly the same. I just went in to get it thinned out and this guy thins the sh out of it. He's so good. You happy with it? I love it. Yeah. So like I took Nikita to a Vietnamese salon. They're really good and a haircut there, like a men's haircut is like 12 bucks. A woman's haircut is like 20 to 30 bucks. They do better than those really expensive places in the first place. If I wanted that today at a normal salon, it would be like minimum $60 maybe. Yeah. Today was 25. And it took a lot of convincing for Nikita to believe me to like that she should, you know, go to these places. Like I had to really convince her because she was scared. But then she hasn't looked back and they do a better job than what she used to get anyway. Then it used to cost like five times the yeah. price or something. No, he's so good. Yeah, he's good. So we're done in Footscray now. We're going to go to the supermarket and buy some eggnog. What is eggnog? It's a drink, right. I think. I had to Google it because I didn't know if it was something just like cream that you put in cakes and stuff or if you actually just drink it straight. No, people drink eggnog, we? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I, I've never had it before. So that's where we're going now. And that's our Christmas segment of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a countdown. It's a countdown just for you. <laughs> Bundaberg rum. Yeah, so they have original and Bundaberg rum. Do you wish to continue? Oh, I'm so starving. Please open it. Hurry up. I'm so hungry. Oh. What you doing, pal? Making my rice bowl. In your rice bowl. This is a very interesting rice. Is it burnt? No, it's black forbidden rice. Really? Why is it forbidden? Um, I think it was like only the rich people ate it or something. No way. So naturally I'm eating it. Joking, I'm a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me to shame. You're making me look like a little fatty. Why? You can eat my quinoa bowl. Oh yeah, Nikita made me a quinoa bowl. It's so yum. Is and it? it's just like such an easy way to get vegetables in your diet. I need more vegetables, don't I? You do, you literally eat none. Look, I've just gone 25 years without vegetables. Lots of food more, right? This is your healthy bowl you made me, huh? Yeah, do you put, I'll cut some avocado for you. Hmm, doesn't look very exciting. Can I have some feta in my one? How much feta do you need? Someone has some. Oh, dude. What? Is this feta off? Why does it stink? It smells so bad. Oh no. It's like sticky cheese, isn't that how it's supposed to smell? I don't know, I'm not having it. Is the feta good? Tastes fine to me. Do you want to try some? How, how old is it? I bought it when... What day did you take me home? What day did I take you home? Was that a third one? Dude, I took you home ages ago. It still tastes good. Dude, I haven't seen you... I took you home like a week ago. Does that say um, truck out after three days? Or was it good? It says... Yes. <laughs> Use within three days. All right, I'll check it out now, but I'm still eating it. It's still fine. This is what my bowl looks like, by the way. It's kind of Christmas. It's kind of Christmas. Well, yeah. Um, it's got green cucumber and red tomatoes and white feta. No, Daniel doesn't like my quinoa bowl. It's a side. It's like if somebody gave you a side for your main... Do you like this though? Because I'm happy to swallow. No, no, it's alright. I'll just suffer. That's why I'm used to suffering when I eat your food. But that's my last bowl too, so if you're not going to enjoy it, then I would rather have it. You didn't hear what I said, did you? What? I'm going to suffer. What did I say though? You're going to suffer with my food? No, what did I say? What did you say? You don't listen to me. 
She always complains about how I don't listen to her. She doesn't listen to me. Do I? I don't complain about that. What do you mean? Yes, you do. You always say how I don't listen to you. You have to say things twice all the time. You have to ask things twice again and all this stuff. Now, Oops. who doesn't listen to who? Well, what did you say? I said that I'm used to suffering when I eat your food. What? It was just a joke, man. We finished lunch. We want to try the eggnog now. Oh. Do you want to pour it? Yeah, I'm just going to see. Do I have to shake it or something? I don't open these often. Yes, you're not very good <laughs> at it. it. <laughs> pour you a little bit. Oh, it's really... I thought it'd be really thick, but it's actually quite loose. It's quite a liquid. I'm not going to do too much in case yeah. I don't like it. Oh, you can smell the rum. Whoa, it's really rummy. What the? It's only supposed to be a little bit of rum. Because you can just buy that from the supermarket. In Australia, you can't buy alcohol from the supermarket. This product contains no more than 0.5% alcohol, but it smells so strong. All it smells like is alcohol. Alright, I hope I like this. I wish I got the original, because I don't even like oh, rum. Cheers. Oh, it's so strong. It's really strong. It doesn't taste like rum. It tastes like bubble gum. Wait, let me, let me, all I can smell is rum, so maybe I taste it like this. Kind of just tastes like milk and cream and sugar. Hello, Mr. Lazyhead. So annoying. Vlogmas is hard. <laughs> we haven't done anything. I know, it's day one. I'm tired already. You being a little lazy munchkin. No, I'm just tired. A little tired munchkin. Yes. Okay. Well, you have a good rest. I am doing something though. Okay. Well, so you have I a good work. rest. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What were you doing? Not yo! Got some nice lamb chops for dinner. Cooked by the chef. I'm the chef. Mr. Daniel. And his bum. I'm feeling my bum. Dinner is served everybody. We've got some lamb cutlets with Nikita's black rice. Hopefully it's alright because I didn't I didn't get time to marinate it. Let's try a piece of lamb. Look at that glisten. It looks like flavor town. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that is so yummy. I like lamb because you can um, cook it all the way through mm -hmm. and it still tastes good. Whereas beef, mm -hmm. if you do it well done, I hate well done beef. Same. 
The lamb's got it on its own, but I'm a bit weird and um, I put sriracha on everything pretty much. So I like chili sauce on mine. Mmm. I love sriracha. The sriracha's amazing. The sriracha's good, the sriracha's yummy, yeah. So we're just gonna enjoy our lovely lamb cutlets now. <laughs> Alrighty everybody. That was a very lazy and very uneventful first day of vlogmas but don't worry it's just day one we're just very easing our way into vlogmas we're just dipping our little toes into vlogmas poor nikita she was like trying to sleep because she was really tired and then our niece and nephew came over and they were so wild yeah! they're like jumping on you and i don't even know what they were they were crazy today they were crazy they were crazy <laughs> and you got so tired well, I was already tired to begin with and then it made me even more tired. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always good seeing them. Yeah. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. Are we doing that tomorrow? Is that what we're doing tomorrow? We can. I just thought maybe Thursday, Friday is better weather. But it's still, it's alright tomorrow, it's just cloudier. I thought you said we are going to do that tomorrow. Same, and then I checked the weather. and. Thursday, Friday was nicer weather. Oh. But tomorrow's still good, just cloudy. Thursday, Friday is sunny, not cloudy. <laughs> okay, we can. Okay, we'll do something. We'll do something tomorrow. Yeah. For day two, uh, make sure you subscribe so you can watch the rest of our vlogmas and leading up until Christmas, so you can get into the festive mood. Yeah. Uh, anything else to say? <sighs> so tired uh, that's it see you guys tomorrow for day two of vlogmas ciao y'all bye